Hi, welcome back. Today I've got this really interesting factorial problem for you with a beautiful solution. First, a quick recap on what this factorial symbol actually means. If we have a number, say 5, followed by the factorial symbol, that simply means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. OK, now that you know that, how are you going to solve this problem? If you'd like to give it a go yourself first, pause the video now. OK, here's how it's done. Let's start with this term, x plus 1 factorial. Another way of writing this is to say it equals x plus 1 which is the first term, multiplied by x, which is the second term, multiplied by x less 1, which is the third term, factorial. This is the same as saying that 5 factorial equals 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 factorial. If you think about it, you'll see that this actually does make sense. Next, we're going to rewrite x cubed less 1. So another way of writing x cubed less 1 is x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus x plus 1. This is just one of those expansions that you need to know. OK, now that we've done that, we can rewrite our original equation like this. So x plus 1 factorial is, is this. So it's x plus 1 multiplied by x multiplied by x minus 1 factorial. And then we've still got a plus x minus 1 factorial and that's divided by x cubed minus 1 which is x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus x plus 1 and this still of course equals 24. Now let's factorise the top, pulling out the x minus 1 factorial. So we've got x minus 1 factorial multiplied by x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. And the bottom remains the same. So we've got x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus x plus 1. And this still equals 24, of course. And now, if you look very carefully, you'll see that this all cancels with this. Because if we were to expand this out, we'd get x squared plus x, and then we got our plus 1, which is exactly the same as we've got down here. So that's made things a lot easier. So we've now got just x minus 1 factorial divided by x minus 1. And 24 is actually 4 factorial. Because 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 equals 24. And finally, we know that x minus 1 factorial is the same as x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 3, etc., all the way down to 1. Therefore, we can cancel the first term, x minus 1, with the term below, x minus 1. And that leaves us with x minus 2 factorial and that still equals 4 factorial 
we therefore have x minus 2 must equal 4 and therefore x must equal 6. And that is our answer. Did you get it? If you're new to factorials, there's probably a couple of tricky bits here. This involves a bit of thinking about. And also this division here to get to x minus 2 factorial. But anyway, what did you think of that? I thought it was a really beautiful solution in the end. OK, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed that one. Check out some of my other videos here. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. See you next time.